non-contact navigated laser coagulation in chronic recurrent central serous cororetinopathy. Two areas of subretinal fluid were evident on OCT. On fluorescent angiography, three points of leakage were revealed. Three active points of leakage of fluorescein are marked with a pointer. At first, we acquired fundus image on nevelous system with non-contact objective of the central retina. Then we imported FA image where active points of leakage were sharply visible. After that, we chose manual alignment as it seemed to us more accurate. The corresponding dots were applied encircling the area of future treatment. Then the alignment was checked by controlling the correspondence of vessels on fundus image and fluorescence angiography image. The aim was to exclude shadows from FA vessels on the retina aside from the vessels on fundus photo. If shadows are present, it could be the sign of improper alignment. After placing of caution zones on optic nerve head and 500 micrometer zone from the center of foveae, planning of test burns was performed. After that, two or three 100 micrometer laser dots were applied on the spots of leakage on fluorescence and geography image. Then we checked the clinical relevance of laser plan to anatomical zones of fundus image. We used epibulbar anesthesia, eye drops of oxybuprocaine in both eyes before treatment. Then we proceeded to the treatment mode in infrared lightning, which is extremely comfortable for the patient. After applying three test burns, we revealed the coagulator of first and second degree. In connection with the proximity to macula center, we chose coagulator of first degree, which corresponded to 60 mW. Choosing it from the screen and then proceeded to non-contact navigated focal laser coagulation. We chose 30 ms exposure, as it to our mind is delicate for the macular region, short enough for non-contact treatment and allows good control of burn intensity in comparison to the shorter ones. It is advisable to warn patient to fixate the gaze on external fixation light and do not move her or his eyes during the treatment process, which usually takes less than one minute. Here are the images of OCTB scans with maps of retina thickness presented before and 42 days after focal laser treatment. Pinpoint registration of images before and after with fluorescence and geography overlay allows to control subretinal fluid resorption in every point of leakage which was treated before. Останні 150 років ми були піонерами в офтальмології, розробляючи методи лікування, забезпечуючи інформацією та обмінюючи знаннями з фахівцями по всьому світу, ми даємо можливість кожному дивитись на світ широко розкритими очима. Давайте відкриємо свої очі. Let's open our eyes. Тех.